What's up guys, Super Electric here back from another video and in this video I'm doing my 300 subscriber special. So before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers and now 600 subscribers as, record, as I'm recording this video, over 600 subscribers. And it really just means a lot to me that you guys are watching my videos and I just, I'm just glad that I really just, you guys really like my videos and stuff like that. And I really love you guys, you guys are amazing to me. And I wouldn't be here without you guys, and I'm just so happy I have you guys as my fans. And, yeah, so anyways, in this subscriber special, I'm going to be doing a ranking of all Veltric or Valkyrie Bays, as some might call it, Vel Valkyrie or Veltric, if they want to go by the English or Japanese names. But anyways, um, anyways, Veltric is a right-spinning attack type bay, owned by Vault Away, my favorite character, and is the, he is the main protagonist for the Burst series. And yeah, so let's get into this number six. So for number six, we got Veltric Wing Excel, or just known as just Valkyrie. It is the first Veltric to be released, and it was exclusive to the manga. And it had the wing disc and Excel tip, and it was they are brand new to the bay. Anyway, just the original single layer Vel Veltric. Really was not was nothing too special because I just really didn't like it. The design it was just like so boring to like new Veltrix now, and it was just really nothing too special to me. But yeah, so now we're going to get into number five. So for number five, we got the first Veltrix of Babel Burst Turbo, Wonder Veltrix Twelve Volcanic, also known as Winning Valkyrie in Japan. It made its first appearance in episode 1, Time to Go Turbo, of Beyblade Burst Turbo. And it was the first Veltric Beyblade to have metal, unless you had the metal god chip on god Valkyrie. Anyways, the bay came with the 12 disc, which was brand new, and it had the 12 blades, but the problem was that it damaged other bays. And then the volcanic, it came with the volcanic tip, which was it had a flat tip, and it was very aggressive. And it was brand new to the bay also, but the problem is that it killed stamina, like really killed stamina, because it was so flat that it ended up killing stamina, and that was the problem with it. It could have been good if the disc didn't, like, damage bays, and the volcanic tip wasn't that aggressive and just really killed stamina. But it was a good bay, but just really, the problem was that this was the stamina. But yeah, now let's get on to number four. So for number 4 we got Victory Veltric Boost Variable, or also known as Victory Valkyrie in Japan. It made its first appearance in the first episode of the anime, Let's Go Veltric, and it was the first Veltric to be in the anime. Anyways, it came with the boost disc and the variable tip which was brand new to the release of Veltri Victory Veltric. And the variable tip had was a rubber tip and it would get worn down almost like evolution from Turbo Veltric. Anyways, the rubber on the bottom of the tip would get worn down, and once it got worn down, the bay would be more aggressive, and it was a pretty cool bay, and I just really liked it, and it had a nice gimmick to it, and much better to, than Wonder Veltrix and Vel the original Valkyrie, which had no gimmick to it at all, and Wonder Veltrix really had no gimmick to it all, at all with the metal, but just the metal, but Victory Veltrix had that nice gimmick of the uh, aggressive tip once the rubber got worn down, and yeah, so now let's get on to number three. So for number three, we got Sword Veltric Blitz Power Retsu, also known as Slash Valkyrie in Japan, and it made its first appearance in Episode One of Bay Labor's Rise: Ace Dragon on the Rise. So the energy layer was custom customizable, where you can take Vel you can make like Valkyrie, Union Valkyrie, Zan, or Rock Valkyrie, Jin, or however you would like to make it. Anyways, I just really liked how they, in GT they did or Gachi they made the uh, customizable customizable energy layers. It also came with the Retsu Light, which is brand new to it slash Valkyrie, which was unbalanced. It had two point two weight points at, on one side, while the other side had one weight point. And it also had the Blitz Disc, which had wings whenever you launched it. When you launched a bay, the wings would pop out, um, just like go up, and it was pretty cool. And it also had the power tip. Which was like almost like it reminds me of Absorb, but it was an attack type. And then the sprint had a spring gimmick in it where it would just go down and it would get more aggressive once the spring, once the spring, the tip went down. And it was a pretty cool bay, and I really liked it. So yeah, now let's go on to number two. So for number two, we've got Genesis Veltric Six Vortex Reboot or Strike Veltric. Six Vortex Ultimate Reboot, and Genesis Veltric was known as God Valkyrie in Japan, and then Strike Veltric was Strike God Valkyrie in Japan. And I'm counting these as two as one because they are pretty much the same bay. Just one has a different tip 
or you could just use put use the same tip. And Strike God Valkyrie had the Strike God ship on it, which was had like it's Genesis Valtrix's ultimate move. Anyways, well, um, Genesis Valtrix made its first appearance in episode one of Evolution. First start Valtrix Evolution and um Strike Valtrix made its first appearance. An epic evolution strike Veltrick episode 44 of evolution. Anyways, just as Veltrick had a spring gimmick in the energy layer, in which you can like it can do an attack and it like slingshot it off of the bay, like kind of like that, or off the wall, where it does because the blades on it would like it would it had a spring gimmick in it, pretty much like I just said. Anyways, the strike Veltrick, the strike god chip. Activated um Veltrix's true power where it would, would line up the blades and have like a better attack. Anyways, it, the sixth it came off the sixth disc and the fourth vortex disc. I mean vortex frame, which are brand new to the release of Genesis Veltrix. And also came with the reboot tip, which releases a tip whenever like the tip extends whenever it launch whenever the bay is launched and once it like gets uh, enough hits. The bay will get more aggressive, and the tip will go in, and it would be more aggressive. And ultimate reboot was pretty much a, pretty much similar, but it worked a little better. And God Valkyrie or Genesis Veltrick and Strike Veltrick were pretty good bays, and I liked them. So yeah, now let's get on to number one. So for number one, we got the main bay of this channel, Turbo Veltrick Zenith Evolution, also known as Chozetsu Valkyrie in Japan. It made its first appearance in episode 31 of Beyblade Burst Turbo, Rebirth Turbo Veltric. And the gimmick of it was that it had Turbo Blades. Whenever you launched it hard enough, the Turbo Blades would release it and kind of make it invincible unless the blades were pushed in. Anyways, so it also had the rubber, I mean the Zenith Disc, which was brand new to the release of Turbo Veltric. And it had rubber on the Zenith Disc for the Takara Tomy version. And also had the Evolution Tip, which was similar to Variable where you would wear it down, and once it got worn down, the bay would get more aggressive. And I just really liked Turbo Veltrick, because it was like the strongest Veltrick, because it had the Turbo Blades, and it wouldn't burst if the Turbo Blades activated. Well, it would be rare for it to burst if the Turbo Blades activated. And it, well, anyways, or the Takara Tomy version. And I just really liked the bay. It was pretty cool, and I just that's why I made it like the mascot bay of my channel. But yeah, so that's going to have to wrap up this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for 300, subs 300 subscribers and now 600 subscribers. And you guys really mean a lot to me, like I said in the very beginning of the video. I really love you guys, and I'm glad that you guys are my fans. And I'm really glad that I actually make some content that you guys liked. And the episode reviews, those, you guys really like them, and I'm glad that you guys like them. I didn't really expect them to blow up that much. And just, I didn't. I wasn't surprised. I was surprised that you guys actually liked those reviews and liked me doing them. Anyways, yeah. So for the next subscriber special for my 400 special, I will be doing t all ranking the surprising Beyblades. And yeah. So if you guys enjoy this special, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. I'm gonna take the